It's finally here. The largest camera in history has just captured its first images of the cosmos, and what it saw left scientists speechless. Astronomers have discovered cold hydrogen clouds inside the Milky Way's scorching Fermi bubbles, something once thought impossible. These immense structures, stretching tens of thousands of light years above and below the Milky Way's galactic plane, are essentially vast lobes of high-energy gas and radiation. First detected by the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope in 2010, they are believed to have formed from a cataclysmic outburst originating at the galaxy's core. That core, home to the supermassive black hole Sagittarius A asterisk, a gravitational behemoth millions of times more massive than our sun, was assumed to be far too violent and inhospitable to allow the formation or survival of fragile molecular clouds. Until recently, scientists believed the searing temperatures and intense radiation within these Fermi bubbles would obliterate any molecular gas particularly the delicate cold hydrogen clouds that usually form in the quiet, protected arms of spiral galaxies. But now, astronomers have identified cold hydrogen clouds nestled deep inside this hellish environment, an astonishing and confounding revelation that defies decades of astrophysical models. Imagine trying to light a candle in the midst of a roaring inferno. That's the scale of improbability we're talking about. The presence of these clouds suggests that something far more complex and nuanced is at play within the Fermi bubbles, challenging everything we thought we knew about galactic feedback, star formation, and the nature of the Milky Way's violent heart. What makes this discovery even more remarkable is not just the survival of these clouds, but their velocity and placement. Some of the hydrogen clouds are moving at hundreds of kilometers per second, suggesting they may have been hurled outward during the same explosive event that gave birth to the Fermi bubbles themselves. If true, this calls into question previous assumptions about the timeline of that explosion. While it was long believed that the event occurred around 10 million years ago, the intact nature and speeds of these cold clouds hint at a much more recent eruption, perhaps just a few million years ago. That would mean the Milky Way's central black hole, often considered dormant or quiet may have unleashed a tremendous outburst in the relatively recent cosmic past. Such a revelation redefines our understanding of galactic evolution, suggesting that galaxies may not evolve gradually over billions of years, but instead in pulses and episodes driven by intermittent black hole activity. The implications of cold gas surviving in extreme environments like these are vast. Not only does this challenge the conventional models that portray galactic feedback as a purely destructive force, but it also hints at the possibility that under certain conditions, even the most hostile regions of space might harbor pockets of star-forming material. If stars could form in or around the Fermi bubbles, that would force a complete revision of our theories about where, when, and how galaxies grow their stellar populations. These clouds could also help explain why the galactic halo, the extended, diffuse region surrounding the Milky Way contains more cool gas than models predict. It's possible that matter from the galaxy's core was blown outward into the halo, enriching it with cooler components and reshaping the Milky Way's long-term structure. The mechanisms behind this mystery are still under debate. Some researchers propose that magnetic fields may have insulated the clouds, protecting them from the surrounding radiation. Others suggest that the clouds could have formed after the explosion, as hot material cooled during expansion and interacted with the surrounding halo. Another theory is that the clouds existed in the halo prior to the Fermi bubble eruption and were merely swept up or compressed during the event. Regardless of their origin, the speed at which these clouds are traveling is critical forensic evidence. By analyzing the Doppler shifts in their spectral lines, scientists are reconstructing the timeline and intensity of the explosion. This evidence, when compared to computer simulations and observations from other galaxies, offers an increasingly compelling picture of a once-dormant black hole that suddenly came alive, belching energy into space in an event as violent as a galactic supernova. It's a stunning reminder that even our home galaxy is capable of cosmic violence on unimaginable scales. Sagittarius A asterisk, once thought to be a sleeping giant, may in fact be a slumbering monster capable of waking without warning. This episodic activity could be the norm rather than the exception for supermassive black holes. 
That realization has huge consequences not just for understanding the Milky Way, but for galaxies everywhere. If quiet black holes can periodically flare up, launching vast streams of matter and radiation, then the evolution of galaxies is likely governed by far more dynamic processes than the smooth curves we see in textbooks. It means the universe is not a gentle place. It's a battlefield of fire and gravity, creation and destruction, all playing out across billions of light years. The discovery of cold hydrogen clouds within this maelstrom turns them into cosmic fossils, remnants of a forgotten catastrophe, survivors of a galactic heartbeat that still echoes across space. They carry the scars of that explosion and the secrets of how galaxies live, die, and are reborn. And this realization is not just academic. It transforms how we interpret every telescope image, every distant galaxy, and every data point collected from deep space. Future instruments like the Square Kilometer Array and the James Webb Space Telescope may find more such anomalies, and when they do, we will have to revise our cosmic story once again. The Fermi bubbles, once thought to be simple markers of past activity, now become laboratories for understanding the interplay between gravity, radiation, magnetism, and matter. They force us to reconsider where life can begin, where stars can form, and where the raw ingredients of existence may linger, even in places scorched by the breath of black holes. The cold hydrogen clouds inside them are not just scientific puzzles. They are symbols of resilience in the cosmos, proof that even in the most hostile corners of the galaxy, something fragile can survive. And as we continue to search the stars, it is these kinds of discoveries that remind us how little we know and how much wonder still awaits. In the heart of chaos, there is creation. In the shadow of destruction, there is endurance. The Fermi bubbles are no longer just remnants of a distant explosion. They are living records of galactic memory, revealing that even amidst the fires of cosmic fury, the universe leaves room for miracles. And if these hydrogen clouds are indeed relics of a past eruption from Sagittarius A asterisk, then they may hold within them isotopic or molecular signatures that could tell us even more about the composition of the interstellar medium at the time of the explosion, about the physical conditions near the galactic center, and even about how energy is transferred across cosmic distances. By mapping their exact distribution, velocity, and density, astronomers may be able to reverse engineer the blast that hurled them into the halo, almost like reconstructing the final moments of a supernova using the trajectories of its debris. This forensic astronomy could open an entirely new avenue of research, one that blends observational astrophysics, computational modeling, and high-energy particle physics. And it's not just the Milky Way that's affected. If this phenomenon proves to be more common, it may mean that many of the quiet galaxies we observe today are merely in between outbursts, ticking time bombs in a cosmic clockwork. The cold clouds within the Fermi bubbles remind us that the universe has a memory. Events that happened millions of years ago can leave fingerprints in the sky, still visible to us today. In that sense, astronomy becomes time travel, a way of reading history written in light. Hit that subscribe button, share your thoughts below, and let's keep exploring the together. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next.